It's all coming down, guys. Chinese Evergrande right here just went to zero. This is the craziest thing. What is happening? Right? It's all. Li it's literally all about to go kaboom. Not even joking, guys. Right? It's all about to literally explode. The real estate uh, market is about to collapse like the stock market, like the cryptocurrency market, like every other market or majority of other markets out there, guys, right? When it's time, it's truly going to happen all at the same damn time. Now, today we're going to be talking about the banking situation. Finally, guys, right? And what's really happening in the economy today. You guys ready? Because things are not looking good at all, maybe. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, guys, the collapse is truly here in the next few weeks or something. From Gold Telegraph, According to estimates by JP Morgan, it is believed that the most uh, vulnerable banks in the United States have lost $1 trillion in deposits in the past year. Nearly half of these withdrawals occurred during March alone. This is how quickly things can get, right? Or uh, things can happen, guys. Exactly. This is a beautiful statement because things can, things can be flipped on its head. When, guys? Overnight. You got it. Overnight, right? All, all there needs to be is what? Fear spreads wide and is and fear is very contagion right to say the least now check this out guys today we have a lot to talk about prepare 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 because you th you may you may think that things are not looking bad at all but guys the economy is literally on fire as we speak world leaders on banking crisis this week alone okay one president biden our banking system is safe of course, it is. if he's stating it, you already know that's the opposite. Two, U.S. Treasury Secretary Yellen, U.S. banking system is sound. Another one, bingo. It's not sound at all. Three, Fed Chairman Powell, banking system is strong. You know what? Hey, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> it's funny. It's actually so funny, guys, that these people state one thing, but the opposite is truly happening. They think you guys are fools. Not even joking. Four, Swiss, Swiss National Bank. Problems of U.S. banks do not pose a risk of contagion for Swiss, Swiss financial markets, which it did. Um, five, ECB's Lagarde, uh, European Central Bank's Lagarde, equipped it to provide liquidity to financial systems if needed. Hmm, right? Are they, are they trying to bail these banks out if needed? Most likely, because if they don't, they're going to collapse the economy or everything with it. Six, French economy minister, U.S. bank failures pose no risk of contagion for European institutions. Another one, guys. Seven, Dutch prime minister, very unlikely we'll see new banking crisis in Eurozone, right? Prepare, because we're about to talk about another bank crisis that's on the horizon. Not to mention, United States, another bank will probably collapse as well, guys. Again, it's possibly time. Eight, German chancellor, the banking system in Europe is stable. Meanwhile, Credit Suisse sold for pennies on the dollar, and 200, about two, around 200 banks in the United States are facing the same risks of Silicon Valley Bank, guys, right? Now, here we guys go. Here we go, guys, guys, guys. Now, Deutsche Bank credit de uh, default swaps hit a four-year high. The disconnect between uh, leaders and reality is concerning. Exactly, right? Another bank is about to go belly up, guys, but they're stating this is fine. While there's fire everywhere, right? They just want you to think that everything's fine, guys. Nothing to see here. But let's talk about it. Today, we have a lot to talk about. This is how we know everything's not fine. By the way, Justin, Treasury Secretary Jeanette Yellen calls top U.S. official regulators for an unscheduled meeting today that is close to the public. Now, why is it private, guys? Why, why are they holding a meeting that is definitely private? Right? It's because you know why? To not to not throw the fear out there, to not scare the people, because this is how bad the economy is at this point in time, folks. Right? They want to state one thing, but the actual thing that's really happening is the opposite. Not to mention this person right here. She stated, US banking system is sound. Is it truly sound when you guys are holding an unscheduled meeting, by the way, right? Out of nowhere, suddenly expect the unexpected. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it because it's getting really crazy here, guys. I'm getting super excited. I don't know. Now, basically, the meeting takes place amidst a growing uh, growing turmoil within the nation's banking sector. Specifically, Yellen is reportedly calling on uh, on regulators to address market and depositors' concerns with leaders of the Federal Reserve and the FDIC. Following what was the most important FOMC meeting in some time, the Federal Reserve opted to once again raise interest rates, which was not good at all, guys. This is why we're about to see two major other two uh, other major banks about to go belly up, collapse. 
Subsequently, the decision drew uh, some criticism over the over the decision amidst continued worry within the country's banking sector, a factor that is said to be addressed today, right? It's about to get pretty crazy, guys. Now, Germany's shoals, the banking system is, is stable in Europe. Das Bankensystem ist stabil in Europa. Das Bankensystem ist stabil in Europa. The banking system is stable in Europe. Is it truly, guys? Right? More, Deutsche Bank is very profitable. There's no reason for concern. So they, they're stating Deutsche Bank is very profitable and there's no reason for concern. Guess what just took place, folks? What? Remember, they tell you one thing, the opposite is occurring. Always, guys, always. And if, and if, they, if they hate XRP, what does that tell us? They love XRP, right? WTF, cost of insuring against Deutsche Bank default. Um, jump in violent move while share price plunges as stress in the banking system keeps uh, uh, rising following Fed rate hike. Exactly. If they keep raising, guys, they're going to collapse the economy. So what does that tell us with the Fed? We were going to talk about the Fed, guys, uh, but there's so much other stuff going on. So one day we will, though. But basically, the overall gist is or the sentiment is they're going to get forced to start pausing and cut rates down, guys, later on. Maybe a few mo months maximum, maybe next month or the next meeting and whatnot, guys. Who knows, right? But Deutsche Bank is literally about to uh, implode, guys. Not even joking, right? And this is one of the biggest um, banks out there, right? Huge bank, by the way. We are witnessing the demise of the fiat banking system. The signs are everywhere. Puts are extremely expensive going into July. BRICS how many, uh, has how many nations? Gold is spiking, right? Um, credit default spi uh, swaps are spiking at major banks. So what does this tell us, guys, right? And more people are talking about everything else, BRICS currency and whatnot. It tells us that contagion fears are back and U.S. regional bank stocks are hitting new lows today, right? So the banks are not safe, guys. Nothing is safe. Remember, under um, 250k, about, about 250k, or is it, I'm pretty sure it's 250k, it's insured, right? FDIC insured. But over that amount... People will go broke, guys, right? So what's 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 about to happen, guys? Not to mention, how do we know Deutsche Bank is about to explode, right? If they don't come and save the day. Why? Because this was Credit Suisse, guys. Look, look at how similar these two charts are, right? It was spiking heavily. And what happened with Credit Suisse? Imploded. So they had to come and save the day. And I'm pretty sure they got bailed out by... UBS, if I'm not mistaken, another bigger bank, guys, right? The top bank over there. So, obviously, they got bailed out and whatnot, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Not to mention, and this is where it gets really troubling or very scary. Stop me if you have heard this one before. Credit default swaps, the cost to insure bondholders against a default on Charles Schwab is surging. Probably nothing. Again, look at this, guys. Charles Schwab is... Schwab, um, credit default swaps is literally surging like what? Not as bad as um, Deutsche Bank and Credit Suisse, obviously, but it's still surging, guys, right? Abnormally. Why? Because no one is safe, guys, right? I have Credit Suisse losing to Wells Fargo in my March Madness uh, bracket. Wow. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, people are saying it's fine, right? But is it truly when fire is everywhere? Right, nice insider buy at Schwab, fifty thousand shares by the CEO, solid. Wow, Jim stated this guys, it's game over for Charles Schwab. There you guys go, and this that's very huge. Why? Because we're talking about global, systemically important banks, right? These are the the biggest banks out there, and they're very important, guys. Basically, people are saying that it's too it's too um, it's too big to fail, basically, right? If we go down here, who do we see? Which which banks do we see here, guys? We see, there you guys go, Deutsche Bank. Mm, just under Goldman Sachs. Who else is here, guys? Who else is here? So let's go down the list. You see UBS, that was the bank that bought Credit Suisse, if I'm not mistaken, right? People are talking about Wells Fargo is not, uh, Wells Fargo is not safe as well. Credit Suisse is right there, guys. Another major bank, right? That got bought by UBS. Um... And then we obviously see a few others right there. So again, guys, I'll just be very careful because if one of these big banks collapse, it's game over, right? There's literally going to be a domino effect. There has already been a domino effect, guys. Not to mention, Justin Jim Kramer says Deutsche Bank is very profitable and doing well, folks. This is it's game over for Deutsche. Check this out. 
Well, the real problem with Credit Suisse, which is the analog, is they never made any money. Deutsche Bank is actually very profitable. So let's just let's start there. Why bail out a bank that is just a chronic loser? Versus so he's basically saying that Credit Suisse went belly up or imploded is because the reason being is because they were um, they weren't very profitable, right? They weren't making any money. But he then stated Deutsche Bank is good to go because they're profitable guys right so why bail out a bank that's profitable but not to mention ah we see right here what's about to happen guys right very be on high alert at the end of the day then jim kramer stated the united states economy is sound oh another one rip the united states economy is it actually time guys right it actually may be time we have been talking about this for years maybe it actually is the time for the collapse guys if it is then so it'd be, right? It's better if they collapse it now so more people don't suffer. Ah, <sighs> this is crazy. I can't believe it. Now, when we talk about the collapse, guys, this is what we mean by the collapse. It's going to get much worse than what we're about to witness um, in this video. Are you ready, fam? On May 6, 2010, the United States stock market experienced an unprecedented event, right? Check this out. Basically, market levels plunged to new all-time uh, record points losses for a single trading day. Right, and it, 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 when I watched this right, video, guys, right, it was right, pretty right. crazy. The much. following is audio captured from the S and P five hundred futures pit and at the Chicago point. exchange. Yeah, it's just too much. Thirteen even bid here now. Once again, I'm at thirteen even bid now. Thirteen hours are trading right now. All right, guys, sorry about that. There's nothing I can do about that, guys. Once again, on it for you here in a big way. Paper came in, huge paper sellers coming through here, guys. We got fast market up on the boards here once again. We have seen some big paper sellers coming in. It all started out up above around 38 even here now, guys. Talking about the bit. limit down in the S&P 600 handles of range left. Once again, guys, they're going to get it in half trade. Eight even offer, seven even offer. Look at this, guys. When the collapse takes place, it's going to be much worse than this, right? Just listen to this audio, though, and, and obviously watch the video. Five even to trade here, you're going to get a new five even offer comes in. Four even are trading out now. Three even are trading out now. Three in the video now. You're going to get a low point of 1103 even. Guys, two half offer, two even are trading here now. Once again, I'm off of that three even here now. Two half, put it on of that three half. Three is pretty here, guys. All even are trading. The figure prints are trading. Nine halves are trading here now. Once again, we got figure trade here now. Once again, we are trading 1100 even. I just want to intervene once more, guys, that they probably thought, when they were witnessing this, they probably thought the end of the world was occurring at that point, right? Because look at this, it was plummeting. But imagine we're talking about the S&P 500, we're talking about the Dow Jones, we're talking about the debt market all exploding and imploding and collapsing all at the same damn time, guys, right? That's literally the collapse because then we're talking about the transition into a new financial system. We're not even making this stuff up, guys. You think we are, but we're not. Um, resume. Trading here, guys. 96 pounds trade. 96 evens trade. 94 evens are trading. 94 evens are trading here now, guys. Once again, four half offer, four even offer, three halves do trade. 93 evens are trading. 92 evens are trading here now, guys. 91 evens are trading. 89s are trading. 88 halves are trading. 87 evens are trading. 86 evens are trading. 85 evens are trading here now, guys. All the way down. 84 evens are trading here. Now, guys, 82 even are trading. Paper comes in a big seller. 81 even are trading here. Now, guys, 79 are trading. You got 79s trading here. Now, once again, 78s are trading. 6s are trading. 76 even are trading here. Now, guys, 75 even are trading. 4 even, 3 even are trading here. 2 even are trading. 72 even just trading. Once again, guys, we are big time even bid here. Now, guys, 72 even offer. 68 even are trading. Guys, 70 even bid here now once again. 70 even trade. 71 even bid here now with the 72 evens are trading. Guys, 70 over here. He was out of breath, guys. Three, three, three. By the way, but he was out of breath, right? Wow. Imagine, just, just imagine. Close your eyes. Imagine during the collapse, guys. It's going to be so chaotic, right? Prepare, prepare, prepare for the upcoming day, guys. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. And not financial advice. I'll just prepare though. Very nice, Sophia. Amazing, Ines. See ya.